No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here with Frieder Hoheim, the founder of KinoFlow, here to talk about some new products. What's going on? Well, we've uh, decided to introduce a new LED product. Uh, last year we had the Celeb, which was a very successful uh, product line. Uh, today we're introducing the Select LED line. Now what we have is a fixture that is very much predicated on our legacy product, the four foot four bank. This is a product that's been heavily used in, uh, in production for the last 30 years. So all the advantages of that four bank, we wanted to embody that in a LED. So just from the form, you can see it's the classic plastic form. Uh, it has the same weight, same soft light quality of um, our regular four bank, but we've added some features to it. Now that we're going LED, we now have a remote ballast that it can either live on the fixture or remote, but we can now go through colors. So right here we're at 27, all the way up to 6,500. There's some other things we can do with it, and that is we can also adjust green, full green or full magenta. Oh. So oh, we're, see we're seeing that, <laughs> we're seeing that, um, not all cameras are built equal, yes. meaning they see light slightly different. And so what we did is we set this camera, uh, this, this, uh, this ballast up on a distinct color profile, which means on certain cameras it's going to be absolutely fabulous, uh, such as the Alexa, and on other cameras it may be a little different. And the way to adjust for those differences is to go into your green magenta settings and be able to tune it in. So we've tried to anticipate all the different things that can happen on a show where you've got different cameras. This will be able to accommodate pretty much anything you run into. That's incredible. You guys have really thought about removing color casts from the, the lighting, depending on... So is that, is that pretty consistent across the entire dimming range, color quality, flickering? Absolutely. So once you dial in your, your, uh, your hue, no matter where you set your Kelvin, no matter where you set your dim levels, that ratio, that setting will travel with, with, the, uh, with the Kelvin setting. So it's like, we put it this way, it's like adding a gel to the fixture, except you're doing it electronically. Uh, price points and release? This is uh, being released now. Uh, the price points are, uh, list price is sort of in the mid threes. Uh, depending on where you buy it, you may find it in the very high twos, uh, low threes. Uh, and another thing that we can do with this, it's a wireless DMX. So we can go either Lumen Radio or WDMX. So if you're a board operator and you don't want to run a lot of cable, we can communicate wirelessly with this. Because we have a menu, you can go in and set uh, wireless and it'll start linking up and when we go back to the mode screen it'll actually give us the signal strength of our remote signal. Uh, what's the power draw on this one? Uh, this is about uh, 140 watts. Uh, it can operate on battery, can operate internationally anywhere from 90 volts to 240. Everything voltage regulated so even if you're on a wonky uh, generator that the voltage is dipping you'll have a steady light output. Uh, well, there's one other thing we're introducing which is back there We'll follow you. We're, we'll, we're going anywhere. A lot of what I showed you over there is now embodied in the Diva Light. Diva Light is a very classic instrument that a lot of news gatherers, uh, people who shoot uh, documentaries and interviews, have uh, come to enjoy. We've taken all the benefits that we've seen on the Select line and incorporated them into the Diva. This one is fully tricked out with wireless uh, DMX. It's got all the bells and whistles of the other one. We'll also be introducing a different uh, version on this for a lower price point, minus the DMX. So I think there's a place in the market for that. What's also nice about all these systems, all the Kino flows will share this common interface platform. It's so another cool aspect of this uh, product is when it's plugged in and there's power to the unit, even though the light is off, as it is presently, you can deal with all the controls. So even before you turn it on, you can go in and set your Kelvin. If you want to set your dim level, in five seconds it goes back to dim. This is a feature that we've also built into it. You can set that. So let's say you're on an active set and they're rehearsing and you want to walk in and add that last little touch of light which always happens just before they're ready to roll. So instead of just turning it on full, you can set it very low and then turn it on. There's also going to be a, um, well, there is a uh, mini USB 
uh, so you can upgrade software. So the capabilities it has today will be added to as we uh, go throughout the year. So later on this fall, we'll be having some software updates that'll give you more uh, color controls and other features that currently are not embodied. So you're saying you'll be able to firmware update your Kino Flow? Absolutely. We're now getting into computer uh, manufacturing. Uh, it's uh, a mini computer inside a light. We've also designed this battery rig. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will put their batteries on the back of the fixture, which to a certain degree makes sense maybe if you have a yoke. But in the, the fact that we have a ball, which allows this flexible orientation, we thought we don't want to add more weight to the head. We want to keep it off the head. So we built this little rig where we have a plate that just mounts on top of the stand. So the weight is on the stand, it's not on the fixture, and uh, it's a 26-volt V-lock battery. So an instrument like this can operate easily for about two hours. And now looking into the future, what's next? Well, you're going to see advancements in uh, controls on uh, these LEDs. You're going to see advancements in uh, spectrum. The spectrum we have now is very good. You're going to see changes. We're hoping to see some price changes, something that uh, will bring these uh, down in price. But this is a very rapidly evolving technology. All right. Thank you so much for talking with us. This is great. It's a pleasure.